I live dangerously, folks. But first, I got flat. Riding along me and my heart's desire. A flat tire. I'm grabbing my jet, I'll reach for my spare. Yeah. I'm waiting for the mooga, it was flat as a chair. Ah. Woo-wee! All right, so that was the fair. It's the end of the day now. I'm standing in front of the corn. I, uh, I did some Ubering. Very weird day. Um, yeah, it was, it was very exciting, uh, but weird. My last uh, group of guys were uh, a bunch of frat boys, and they offered me a lot of drugs, and I don't take drugs, so say no to drugs. Um, yeah, it was very exciting. They paid me in cash because Lyft wasn't working. Uh, paid me quite a bit, actually. And now I'm just heading home. I'm going to go to Dave's. Got a little barbecue going. Uh, not a barbecue, a little bonfire tonight. Go pick up Eddie Murphy and Johnny Cat. But first, I got flat. Yeah. <sighs> got to change the flat. I'm going to change that flat and then I'm going to get on the road. I am going to video this and put a video. So it'll be probably the next video. How to change a flat tire. But this isn't that video. I don't think anybody wants to see that. So I'm going to run home. I think I'll uh, wrap it up later, but let me change my tire. Hello, hello, Dennis Allen here with another video. The video today is about how to change a tire. There are many people out there that do not have to change a tire and since I have a flat tire I'm gonna video it. Look at this guy driving on a motorcycle. So let me show you how to change a tire. Oh that's hard. Alright first thing you need to do is find your spare. On a minivan it's in the middle of the vehicle like this um, so I got the spare out got that there always check your spare tires before you uh, buy a car or when you're gonna go on a you know on a road trip make sure they have air in it sometimes they lose air so don't look at that the first thing you do is you crank you you loosen these you put that on there lefty loosey okay All right, see that? I did that because once you lift it up, you can't, uh, if you turn it, the wheel's gonna turn. And uh, look at that car. Woo! Oh, that's the same one I just drove by. That's fresh fly. All right, so loosen up those. And I'm not that strong, people. I already loosened it, then I decided the video. All right, your jack. Um, read the owner's manual, but there's usually a space in here to put the jack. See how it's like that? Jack. And then you're going to want to crank this bad boy up. And then what that's going to do is lift the car. Hopefully, that's the plan. Stan. I'm going to keep checking cars because uh, who knows. So you crank this with two hands, which I don't have. So let me crank it. All right. I can do it like this. Oh, that's Lucy. So always righty tighty, lefty Lucy people. Ah, see the car's lifting up, and it took away my my tripod. Arrgh. I think there's a corn monster behind me He's trying to eat me. Oh, I did it again. All right. That's it. All right, that's cranked up. The wheel is still touching, um, but it looks like the rim's smaller, so I'm just gonna keep it there. But you should just make sure that it uh, is completely off the ground. You wanna take these off. Make sure you don't lose them. Boy, this is scary on the side of the road like this. Please don't hit my van, van, cause I'll die.
You know, as an auto mechanic, it's a lot easier to do this with air tools. This would have taken three seconds. And that's it. But this is the way they used to do it before they had uh, air tools, you know? Before man had uh, electricity or gasoline, they used to have to change your tires uh, like this. Oh. Fudge. Oops, see? Gotta watch that. Don't hit me, buddy. And the last one. Look at that. And this tire's gonna fall and hit me. Watch this. Because it's on a hill. There's no pressure. So that's, whoop, see? Told you. I wasn't lying, folks. So I don't, oh, look at that. That's the culprit. I could fix that. I have a plug kit at home. You know what? I'm gonna put that on the video. How to plug a tire too. Yeah, so put this on. Try not to get dirty. Take the leaves out of there. I don't know how that leaf out there. And uh let's see if I can do this. Yes, that's all. Okay. So, put these on. Luckily, I think they put anti-seize on these things, but lug nuts don't really ever uh, seize anymore. I guess they used to, but I don't know. Or I would just be in a mechanic shop most of my life. Hand tighten these puppies. Oh, that guy got close. We can shook the van. So one thing that you want to do is, uh, you know, like wiggle the tire so you could. So they're definitely hand tight. All right, now you put the lefty loosey on. You don't have to. Uh, you don't have to do anything. Like if I kept doing this right, it would be tightening, but loosening it, I could do with one hand. You see? So you want to loosen it just a little bit, just enough to get the uh, tire on the ground, a little bit more. 420 to 420 tire, people. That's what they put in the spare tires these days. All right, let's do this. All right, I lowered it. The tire is on the ground, nice and secure, and now you could give these little tidy whitey, righty tidy, you know what I'm saying, know what I'm saying? Righty tidy. And you wanna go the furthest one away. You wanna do in a cross pattern. So you go from here to there, to there, to there. That's what I'm gonna do. And then once I do that, what I'm gonna do is put it all the way down. And then do it again, tighten them again. Cause you never want these things to come loose when you're driving your vehicle down the road. This one, big freaking truck coming. He didn't hit me. All right, Ugh. I think I did this one. All right, so I'm gonna put it down again. Go all the way down now. See how he's at people? Oh wait, I have AAA included with my insurance. I should have just used it, man. Now that would be a, a waste of insurance, you know? Because someone's got to pay for that, so the more claims go in, and it would... Oh jeez, all these cars, mamma mia. I don't like these cars. All right, so this is going down slowly because I'm doing it with one hand, but this could have been a uh, a 10 minute job. This is what happens when you're Ubering all day or lifting. I was lifting all day. Not like muscles, but I was using a lift app. All right, lower all this down. Put all these toys back into 
wherever they go. I think this goes something like that maybe. Yeah, it fits in there. And you know, each car is going to have their own little organization thing. The Jeep has like a little kit underneath one of the seats. And then uh, you just put this all back in there and... Uh... Oh, I want to tighten it again. Oh, I did tighten it. No, I'm going to tighten it one more time just to be on the safe side. But, so tighten it up. There's a bag that I could put that in there. No, I just put the seats down. And uh, that should be it. I'm going to be on my merry way. Back on the road. Good to go. Remember people, I this this uh, Dennis Allen Homestead YouTube channel is a reality show. It's fake. It's all script written. I am not driving my car and videoing right now. I have a tractor trailer pulling me on a dolly that if you see, we uh, CGI it out of the picture. So you look, you can't see it, right? You can't see a tractor trailer. Good one, Tony. All right, slow down a little. Thank you. So that's Tony the driver. And uh, so, so now that I have the spare on, uh, a couple things with uh, having a spare tire, especially those donuts. One, it's probably not the right air pressure, so they have a very good chance of it going flat or blowing out. Um, there's a speed limit on them. I think you have to do 55. I'm doing 60, but I live dangerously, folks. Uh, but yeah, definitely be careful now because you know the car pulls to one side differently. It's it's a totally different animal. This is not how the car is designed to to drive. Um, even if it was flat, uh, I would still drive on this spare because driving on a flat tire, as soon as that rim hits the uh, kakalaka, the uh, blacktop, it uh, just wrecks the rim. So you don't want to do that. If the spare tire hits the concrete, I mean the blacktop. Uh, so be it. A spare tire is probably cheaper than a full-size tire. And also, too, so you saw that tire had a little hole in it. Um, that's an easy fix. That's a little plug. Just stick it in there and pull out the thing and then uh, just fill it up with air. Luckily, I have a air compressor now in my Jeep and a windmill that makes air, but that's not up yet. So I'll use my Jeep compressor. Well, you'll see that. Uh, so, yeah, just want to show you, tell you a couple things about spare tires uh go slow if you have to drive you know with the hazards on and let everybody beep and go around you do it because it's not fun losing uh having a blowout especially at high speeds my uh, my blowout was kind of i heard something in it and so i actually jerked the wheels you know as i was driving from left to right kind of thought maybe someone was stuck on it um but something was stuck on it, and I heard it leave the ve leave the vehicle, and then that's where the uh, the uh, tire went flat. So it was probably something big stuck in there. I don't know, a big washer or something nut, and I could hear it, and it felt weird. Uh, it must have been heavy, but uh, yeah. So that's it. I'm gonna change. I'm gonna show you how to how to uh, plug a tire now. And the kit's only a couple of dollars, so stay tuned. After these messages, we'll be right back. Jeep, the toughest four-letter word on wheels. Through years of rough handling, what does it all add up to? Total performance. All right, guys, thank you very much. You guys keep watching. Tell your friends. This is how you change a tire. All righty. So that is how you change a tire. I'm still here editing the videos um this video is quite long i'm sitting up on top of the hill i got my cord in charged up into teddy doing my computer work out here today i got a dog dog got into a fight with johnny cat um that's not true but he did get into fight with something and something messed him up got a bite on his back too but the second video i'm gonna cut this in half here I'm going to, um, the second part is how to fix the tire, how to plug it with a simple plug thing. So stay tuned for that. Um, hope you're enjoying this and check out part two after this. Thank you very much. Look, there's part two right there in the corner. 
Future Dennis, make sure you make that happen.